Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to an auction haul. So today I've got a small job lot to share with you. There is no antiques and collectibles. Uh, there's some DVDs, magazines, a few uh, sealed figures as well. Um, but there's no antiques and collectibles in this job lot. I paid £30.25, that is including commission. The hammer price was £25, commission was £5.25. Um, also, there is one or two items that I've removed from this job lot for the purposes of doing a different video um, it's actually a collaborative video so I'm going to be sharing more information with you on that um, at a later date obviously maybe uh, maybe even just when that video comes out to be honest rather than before it I am trying to hold myself back from saying any more about that video because I'm excited about it and um, it's hard when you're excited about it to keep yourself back and, and not kind of spoil the secrets and stuff but yeah I won't do I'll keep I'll refrain from saying any more um, but yeah, so there is a couple of items that were from this job lot that I'm not going to show you in this video um, But yeah, so with that being said, we'll get on with it. I won't ramble anymore I don't think there's anything else I need to say so yeah, uh, let's get on with the whole video So first item is a bit of an annoying one actually because uh, you can see here. It's this Star Wars um, oh, What's it called Tuscan Raider um, and I was a little bit annoyed because this piece has broke off. Now, when I was actually at the auction or when I was collecting it, this piece was was on here. You know, it just had a little kind of spike on this uh, thing here. I don't know what it is. It's some sort of weapon, um, but it had a little spike on here. And uh, when I was coming to photograph it, it literally just fell off. Like, it just completely just fell off straight away. It was weird. Um, but, yeah, so... It's a bit of a shame that now obviously what I can do is maybe try and glue it back on or put it back on somehow and then just um, describe that in the description and maybe put the price down a little bit which is probably what I'm going to do but originally I think um, I think one of these one of these had gone for 20 quid or they had accepted a best offer so probably went for like 15, 16 quid something like that um, so yeah it's a bit of a shame I mean what I might do is try my best to get that thing back on describe it as such and then maybe go Twelve ninety nine to fourteen ninety nine, something like that. Having described the issue and the fact that um, you know I fixed it to the best of my ability, but it still ob obviously it's still been restored. It's not in the complete original condition. Basically, it's a hollow, hard plastic figure by um, Applause nineteen ninety six, um, made in China. And yeah, it's quite a nice figure. You know, as I say, it goes for like uh, fifteen twenty quid. But just a shame. Um, for, for that little thing not being on there, but as I say I have got it, so I can I can uh, kind of. Uh, fix that to the best of my ability, but yeah, that's that one there anyway. So next we've got this boxed Cyberman figure. Now I'm not sure whether this is brand new and sealed. Um, I would be tempted to say it's probably not. Um, for one, just by the look of the box, and I don't think there's any like little seal over the box. Yeah, the tape looks like it's been broken there, so it looks like it has probably been used at some point. And also, it does rattle around a little bit in the box, so it probably has been taken out. Normally, what you see in these boxes are like, I don't know whether the Doctor Who lines did these, but you normally get those pieces of wire, don't you, around the figures to keep them in place, and that hasn't got that, that on... Uh, in here but you never know it might not have done anyway but yeah I'm probably gonna end up listing this as used um, a lot of these don't go for brilliant money um, if you get the larger cyber leader figure even like used that can go for I think like 12 to 15 quid something like that so if you got it in its box or anything like that then you could maybe charge a bit more uh, but this is just a standard cyberman figure I'm guessing that in the box Probably even just like this, 12 99 10 quid, 12 99 something like that in its box. Um, obviously, if you're talking loose, you might be talking less than that. Um, but yeah, you know, I was happy to see this, obviously, in the job lot, because as you know, I'm big into Doctor Who. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Probably, as I say, 10 to maybe 13 quid, something like that, I'll be putting this one on for. So yeah, that's that one. So next, we've got this um, Robin Hood. I'm guessing this was from uh, Robin Hood, like a series they did or some, at, some, at some point. Um, I never watched it. I can't recall this guy anyway. Um, so it might have been like, I don't think it was before I was born. It doesn't look that old, but it might have been like when I was really little or something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I've never really been that big into Robin Hood anyway. So I've, like, I've, I know there's been a few movies done about it, and I've not really watched them, so it wouldn't really be necessarily something I'd be I'd be well up on anyway. But yeah, I was thinking it might have some value because um, obviously it is a little bit more of a niche 
item. It's not necessarily completely mainstream or anything like that. Um, so I thought, you know, there might be like a little cult following around it and it might be worth 20, 25 quid, something like that. Unfortunately, it isn't worth 20 or 25 quid. It's only worth like uh, 10 pound plus post, something like that. I'd be pretty much lucky to get about that maybe a little bit more maybe i could wait it out for 12.99 plus postage but i wouldn't really be talking much more than that really so yeah a bit of a shame you can see this has actually got these little pieces of wiring to hold the figure in like i was talking about before on the cyberman um but yeah so this is brand new in the box which is good um but it has got uh you know significant points of wear around the box and stuff just general kind of shelf wear and stuff but there is quite a lot of it around the box so i'll mention that and do some good photos on that one so yeah that's that one there anyway next again just another sealed figure this one is x-men 2 united or something like that uh, superposable Wolverine with battle action base. It sounds so cool. Um, Toy Biz. It's made by Toy Biz. But also, weirdly, it has vivid imaginations on the back. So I don't know whether this was a collaborative, uh, you know, figure done between Toy Biz and Vivid Imaginations. Or maybe Toy Biz and Vivid Imaginations are the same brand. Or maybe they, those two brands are owned by a larger company or something like that. So then they've obviously put both the names on. I'm not sure how it's worked, but it was just interesting to see that you know, you've got Toy Biz on there and then Vivid Imaginations as well. A bit, a bit different, really. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be a standard figure again, looking like maybe about £10 plus postage, nothing special. But it's something easy to list. Uh, it's something nice, you know, quick, easy to list. Not, you know, I don't need to do mega amounts of photos with this. I don't need to describe it really, really well or anything because it is just brand new and sealed. It's just a brand new and sealed figure. So that's what I like. You know, I like things that are quick and easy and stuff. And especially if I'm putting them on for a lower range of £10 plus postage, anything that I can get that's just quick, you know, a lot of the things that you see me pick up, um, if it's that 10 to £15 range, you may have noticed that I generally go for things that I can process quick, so I get a lot of ceramics, because ceramics, you know, as long as they're clean, I don't even need to clean them or anything, I just whack them on the photo, photo area, snap some photos, upload them to my computer and then I can be on with listing them. Things like sealed DVDs, sealed figures, uh, what else do I get for that bread and butter range, like plush toys and stuff like that. Anything that I can just literally whack on the photo area straight away and then list it that doesn't need anything doing to it. I, that's why I don't buy as many board games anymore. And like you know, unless they're in auction job lots and stuff, I can get them really cheap. I don't buy many of them anymore because it takes longer to process. Probably one of the reasons I don't like selling clothing because in certain circumstances with clothing, not all circumstances, but certain circumstances, you need to iron them and do things to them and. I'm just a lazy person, I'll admit that. I'm just lazy with my reselling. And uh, some would, actually, some would call it working smart, but I just call it lazy. You know, I'm just lazy with what I do. Um, I just like things that just go on the photo. I just whack it on, just, you know, take some photos. I can't be bothered doing stuff. So, yeah, it's, these items are great. So, although it's not necessarily really big value or anything, it's just something easy that I can process and it doesn't take me long to list. So, yeah, that's that one there anyway. So, next again, all from the same job lot, is this uh, C3PO figure. It's a um, Star Wars Epic Force and it's by Kenno at the bottom here. Um, I think it's a 90s figure. So it'll be like the prequel sort of era, yeah, 1997. Um, and yeah, it comes on this little base here. Uh, well, you can't see it, but I'll flip it around in a minute. But well, you can see it on the back of here, actually, with this Darth Vader figure. And uh, oh, who's that Boba Fett? Is that? Yeah, Boba Fett. I and mean, I can't see it because it's backwards. And then Luke Skywalker there. Um, now, I think this is brand new. Again, it's much like the Cyberman. I'm not too sure whether it's been out of the box or not. But it does kind of look pretty much brand new. The only issue is that this uh, label that I think is probably meant to go around here um, has come off inside the box. But, you know, that's it's not too bad. Obviously, I'm going to describe that and... You know, one, once I take a photo of it, people will know that that's the case anyway. But it does look like it's pretty much brand new. It's just the fact that it's got a lot of box wear and stuff. Just a lot of, not box wear, but shelf wear and stuff around here. Um, but nothing nothing really makes me think that it isn't brand new in the box. Um, also, there's like some slight wear up here to the cardboard. Where it's, oh, it's coming off slightly. I thought it might have been, yeah. 
just coming off slightly there, so that's something I'm going to have to mention as well. Um, I think the top end of what the, this C3PO figure goes for is about 15 quid. Some people have got like 12.99, others have got a little bit less. Um, so I think I'm going to go like between 12.99 and 14.99 and just wait on it because I don't mind waiting on something like this. Just whack it away in storage and see when it sells, really. Um, so yeah, that's that one there anyway. And then finally, um, I'm going to be talking to you about and oh, uh, showing you, of course some of these uh, DVDs. Now, this is something, before I get quite into it and actually share with you what they are, these are something that people overlook massively. Like, I don't know whether it's that certain people just don't think they have value or they just don't deal with them or whatever. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I think a lot of people overlook these. And what these are, are magazines you know you get those magazine collections right and you get a load of figures with them and then you, you know like for example um you know you might get like a figure set for star wars and then each week in in a magazine that you pay quite a lot of money for to be honest because some of these are like 4.99 5.99 9.99 magazines each week and then you get a little figure in it and then you add to the collection and build it up over time and by the time you know 20 or 30 weeks have gone by or maybe even a year has gone by you've got a nice little set of you know maybe die cast figures or whatever it may be well also as well as those you get ones uh, where you get a dvd each week um i remember where there was one of these for carry on dvds and my dad bought those and he didn't have the full set or anything but yeah he bought about 20 of the magazines or something and you get a new a, a different carry-on dvd each week um so these are diagostini which is a, a company that does a lot of these kind of uh runs of magazines where you collect different things uh movie musicals these ones are called the greatest song and dance films on dvd it's a set of i believe it was the one was the entire one was 80 dvds i've got 60 of them in these little boxes i'll show you uh, the different ones now actually oh that's upside down isn't it so you can see here we've got uh 46 to 60 in there we've got 45 to 30 in there we've got 29 to 12 in there don't know quite that's better angle isn't it 29 to 12 in there and then we've got uh what's that 11 it must be 11 to 1 yeah 11 to 1 in there so basically the good thing about these is for one, pretty much all of them are brand new and sealed. I think there's maybe five, six, seven, something like that out of the, the 60 that I've got that are not brand new and sealed. But you can see here, like, these one. I don't know whether you can see that actually very well, but yeah, there's the seals there shining. Uh, there are quite a few. They're a bit sticky on there. Um, there are quite a few, not that one, but I think this one. Yeah that have got like loose DVDs. I mean, I can go through them and try and do that fun thing where you're trying to line them up and press them back in. I've done that a few times with DVDs with, with a little bit of success. So I could always do that. And then obviously most of the DVDs will be back in place again. Um, but yeah, also, as well as a lot of them being brand new and sealed, I've also got some other stuff with them. I've also got a load of the magazines that will have come with them. Um, now, I don't know whether the full 60 are here or maybe even the full 80, I would imagine there's going to be 60 here at least. But we've got all these different magazines. There's loads in this folder here, uh, as you can see. But also, there's some more here. So, obviously, I'll need to go through and count all these. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I've got the full 60. And then what I'll do is a big bundle with everything because I feel that's probably going to be the best way to sell these. I've looked on complete and sold. There's one gone on auction which was uh, 63 DVDs, 39 of which were new and sealed, I believe. Uh, and that went on auction for £48 plus whatever amount of postage, like 6 or 8 quid or whatever. Um, so... With that being said, you know, I've got 60 here, I've got the magazines, I've got the 60 magazines to go with the 60 DVDs, and there's only like five, six of these that aren't sealed. Um, really, I can choose my price with Buy It Now. Um, I'm thinking of going close to that £100, or maybe even if I've got the 60 magazines, and obviously I've got the bo the original boxes as well for the DVDs there. I mean, maybe just go 100 quid and just come down from there. Um, because obviously 48 quid, that was on auction. And generally you can get uh, more on by it now anyway. And also I'm going to be providing a lot more value to the bundle with 
the uh, edition of the magazine. So yeah, I mean, a hundred pound might be about where it where it's at. I mean, uh, you never know. Some people might be screaming at me in the comments now, or go a little bit more. So you know, I'll 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 just do a bit more research, obviously, and then choose a price that really good, you know, a good strong price. It's quite high, and then I can just work down from there. So even if I say. Or, you know, I feel this is worth, you know, 120 quid. I can always whack it up for 120. And if I have to come down by 30 quid or 40 quid or whatever, then I'll do that. Um, but, yeah, so this was a, a good um, attraction to the bundle kind of thing. And this will get more than my money. Like, even if I were, get, were to get, like, 80 quid or something out of it, that'll get more than my money out of the job lot. And then the other stuff, you know, the, the five or six other items I've shown you there, and the other couple of items that I said, that I said at the beginning I'm not including in this uh, job lot, obviously that goes to paying for it even more. Not even paying for it, but just getting more profit out of it. So, yeah, I was pretty happy with that one. And you might be wondering, why are you... Um, maybe a little bit nervous about say you know you said you're saying oh you know uh oh that'll go towards paying for the job a lot more well I'm, i was a little bit nervous on this job like i have to tell you because i bid blind on this i didn't do any research so um i was kind of a bit happy that these were worth good money because um i was just I basically I hadn't done enough research from the auction. It's never a good thing to do that, and I always do it. Uh, I never do enough research at the auction. And I thought, right, well, I really like the look of this job lot. It's 25 quid. There'll be something in there that's worth money. I mean, I had seen these movie, movie musicals, and I thought, you know, they're going to be some good money. And I just clicked the bid button. No one else bid up any, any higher. And I was like, right, okay, yeah, you know, there'll be something in there. So, yeah, um, <laughs> that's why I was a little bit nervous. But now I know that these are going to be good money, and they're good, good money. I'll be like, yeah, okay, right, I'm going to get some profit out of them. Like, between these if i get like if i can get 100 quid for these which would be brilliant and between the other stuff i'd probably do like 150 to a 200 out of a 30 pound you know including commission uh purchase so if you know it's fairly decent especially for a, a, a blind bid as well so yeah that's those ones there i am just gonna tag on to the end of this video a couple of items from a different job lot uh, just that i wanted to show share with you because i've got them here basically so i'll share uh, those with you now so guys basically i've got another couple of items to share with you these were from a board game job lot from my last auction haul now i've listed the majority of that job lot without even sharing it with you my intention was to actually share that job lot with you but i just picked them out of my lockup one day photographer uh, photographer photographed them photographed them that's what i'm trying to say i photographed them and then obviously listed them and put them away um and then obviously that was that a couple of them have now sold etc so i didn't end up sharing it with you so i thought oh this is a great opportunity i'll just share this these couple of items with you out of that job lot um so yeah this is a subutio uh, we've got a uh, the fa cup premier no the fa premier league um and yeah i think this i did check uh, complete and sold a couple of days ago or something now and i think um up, these have gone like a sort of top end of about 30 40 quid something like that if they're complete now i haven't checked this yet i do need to check it but even if it isn't complete sometimes with these subutios what it's worth doing is you can sometimes sell little individual parts or or do little groupings of individual parts for some decent money at least has it got Oh, it's got that trophy in as well. So if that trophy's in there, if it isn't complete, this trophy here I've sold before for like 15 quid on its own. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like some of this beauty of stuff, just some of the individual parts that go for decent money. The cup obviously is kind of the most valuable individual part. I would I would have thought so. Um, but you can get some money for for other indi individual parts so if it isn't complete i've always got that option so hopefully at minimum if it isn't complete the trophy's still in there and i can get that you know 15 quid out of it so it's still pretty decent um but yeah so that's that one there obviously Tabutio is a good seller if you can find it you've got to find it at the right price so you know you don't want to be paying too much for them some of the individual little um like sort of football team sets that you get in smaller packets, like a, um, you know, just little uh, football figures. Uh, I think they're in teams of like 11 or 12 or something. 
I'm not that big into football, so I wouldn't know exact numbers or anything. But I think it's 11 to a team, isn't it? But I don't know whether in the actual sets you get like an extra substitute player or something. Um, but yeah, those sometimes go for decent money. However, it depends on the set. Some of them don't. Some of them only go for like between anywhere from like six to 12 pound. But then other ones, if it's a rarer set, it'll obviously go for a bit more. So yeah, that's that one there anyway. And then just the final thing I will share with you is something that I really don't like dealing with, but it just came in a job lot. And now I have to deal with it and I don't want to deal with it. But it's this uh, Formula Tyco, Tyco? Formula Tyco, I was going to say Tycoon then, but it's Formula Tyco uh, GT International. It's like a racing set, you know, I'm guessing it's an electronic thing with like those little, uh, what do you call them, those little things that you you press in like oh what do you call not paddles but um the light like remote controls but i think there's a specific name for them where they're like uh, shaped like that and then like that and then you have a little handle there and you go, anyway i don't know but um yeah it's like that it's like a little set like a scale electric type set but obviously not scale electric scale x trick branded um but yeah so this doesn't seem to go for that much money and uh, it's one of those things that take a while to deal with or i just don't like deal dealing with so it ends up taking me longer um but yeah it seems like on completing solves i haven't seen this exact set but i've seen ones from the same brand go for like 20 25 quid so i don't think i would get a lot for this um maybe if this is a certain sort after set i might be able to get a bit more like 40 quid or something but I don't think it's going to be that sort after or anything. So, yeah, a bit of a bit of a shame on that one. That it's not going to be worth a lot of money. Of course, you know, it's just extra profit for me out of the job lot. Um, but, you know, at the same time, it takes a long time to deal with. So, something like this might end up sitting in my pile of shame for quite a while. But we'll see. If I get some motivation one day, I will really try and... Uh, pick myself up and process it but to be honest with you it's one of those items that could just sit in my pile of shame for ages and just basically take up space but that's kind of the only problem with buying from auction job lots i put this down now actually um but it's kind of one of the only problems from buying at auction you know you're kind of forced to pick up the items that you don't want to deal with now of course something like that i could just donate it to the charity shop or whatever but it's kind, it would be kind of a foolish move on my part to donate something that's, you know, going to be worth some money. Just donate it because I can't be bothered dealing with it, you know. Now, if that were to sit in my pile of shame for a year and then this time next year I've not dealt with it, then, OK, maybe I think, well, you know, I've not dealt with it and it's just going to sit there for another year. So then I might think, right, well, I've got to do something else with it. But... I've got to try and get that motivation, and I think anyone who buys from auction have got to try and get that motivation to list the items and process the items that are a lot harder to deal with, um, you know, j that just happen to be in those job lots that you buy. Um, and, you know, I've tried all sorts of different ways of doing this, you know, I've tried processing them first, and um, I've tried big clear outs of my pile of shame and trying to kind of um, just get everything out and, and just sort it all in one go and, and get all the horrible bits out in one go, you know, in like one or over one or two days and just process all those horrible bits. And then I've got the good stuff uh, to process afterwards and stuff. But whichever way I do it, I always still end up building up a pile of shame. I always end up having things I don't want to list. And I think that... I think that however much we try and kind of uh, get away from that, I think that's a natural part of this process of being a reseller. You will always have those items that you don't want to list. And you can effectively reduce that um, and you can kind of do tricks and things to help reduce that down. But you're always, you've always got to realise that you're going to have some bits of that left at the end of the day. It's just how this kind of thing works. As you're never going to have all items that are brilliant and that are easy to process and easy to list. You're always going to be faced with at least a couple or a few or a handful or whatever of items that you don't particularly like to list. So then it becomes a, a question of your motivation and, and, and whether you're going to actually uh, pull yourself up and just get them done or whether you're just not, you know, whether you're just not going to do that. And that's not going to be... Um, the most effective or the most maybe the most cost effective or the most kind of 
um, affect them in terms of your profit and how much you can get out, out of items for your business. So, you know, it's always good to try and pull yourself up and, and, and get those things done. But for me, just like it is for everyone else, it can be incredibly hard at times. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've, I've rambled a lot now, so I'll leave it there for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, then please do subscribe to the channel. I'll put a little thingy up there. Um, if you did like the video, then please do give it a like down below. If you have any comments, questions, or queries about anything you've seen here today, then please drop a comment down below. And with, with that being said, I will leave it there, guys. So I will see you in the next one. See you very soon, guys.